Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kei. So uh, this is the 29th of November and this is on Monday. So I hope you had a nice weekend and nice start of this new week. So um, let me change the screen and start the session today. So just as a quick disclaimer, uh, this content is basically based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And today I have screened the pairs and markets and they are all ranging and the markets are less volatile today. So uh, instead of talking about the markets because it's, it's not really moving, I decided to talk about one of the emails and comments because I thought that this is a very important topic for everybody who wants to become a profitable or full-time trader. And uh, so let me introduce one of the emails. So let me change to full screen and so I will do the video session today like this on the full screen. So, um, so this is the email I got from uh, his, his name is Nick. And uh, he says, I haven't been able to keep trading with one strategy. I keep changing strategies when I lose. And now I haven't traded for a half year. Then I saw your YouTube videos, then started to learn Ichimoku and trading again. But after I started to trade again, demo again, I started to remember the days when I was losing and I started to have frustration. So how can I deal with that frustration? Is his message and the question. So um, please take a moment and how would you answer to this question? He was taking trades, but he was losing. He was changing strategies and he, he was quiet for the half a year. And then he started to trade again with the Ichimoku, but he, starts, he still remembers the days he was losing and he's got the frustration. So how can he deal with that frustration? Uh, please imagine that this were, if this were you, and how would you deal with that kind of a situation? Would you quit trading or would you keep trading with a new strategy? Or what would be the answer for you? So, um, and here's my answer. I have my answer, so here's mine. But um, before directly going into the answer, um, ever since when I was a university student, um, studying psychology and especially when I was working full-time in Japan I was in the IT company in Japan and working full-time and ever since I was so much into philosophy and one one day in Japan I came across one of the words when I was reading a book called um, Dampala in Buddhism which means word of truth in English so that is one of my Bibles and sometimes I read the book or uh, the contents are actually on the website. So I refer to it and learn from these words. And the word inspired me a lot. And even until now, I keep the word on the note and read back. So I think this is the perfect timing to share the words from that Buddhism Bible. So uh, let me share it with you, everybody, on this video today. So in there it says, never meet someone you love, never meet someone you don't love, not meeting someone love, sorry, not meeting someone you love is a pain, and meeting someone who you don't love is also a pain, therefore never love someone. It's a strategy to lose someone you love. A person who doesn't love or hate anyone does not have annoying phone. Sorrow rises through someone you love, and fear rises through someone you love. Once you leave someone you love, then there will be no sorrow. How can you have fear then? And sorrow rises through pleasure or joy, and fear rises through pleasure or joy. Once you leave the pleasure, then there will be no sorrow. How can you fear then? And sorrow rises through greed, and fear rises through greed. Once you leave the greed, then there will be no sorrow. How can you have fear then? Have virtue and wisdom, live with discipline, speak truth, and do what you need to do. 
then you will be loved by people. It may be a bit difficult to grasp what it means. When I first saw, the, saw these lines, it was a bit confusing. So I was reading these lines over and over again, and I understand that what it really means. Um, that simply means the more you want to love someone, the emotion of love tricks you, and the emotion of love creates fear. Therefore, live from those emotion is what it basically means. So you might ask, then, shouldn't we love someone? And the answer is no. Uh, at the end, it says, have virtue and wisdom live with discipline. Then you won't be fooled by emotion, but rather you can cultivate the love. So coming back to uh, the email from Nick, the problem of him is that uh, he is a very smart man. He's a very smart person. At the same time, I can feel that he doesn't want to lose on the tradings and he has uh, strong frustration. I can, I can imagine that by his words. Um, and a strong will or a strong willpower is of course important because it's the source of energy to make something happen just like greed. So uh, even myself, I have strong will, strong willpower, and also I have a frustration too. Ever since I started the Flex Trace, I was frustrated a lot. And nowadays, because I'm so used to it, I don't have frustrations, but sometimes, uh, you know, if when I cannot take trades, when there was a trend in directions, trend in markets, and if I still see, if I still miss these chances, sometimes I feel frustration. Not the big one, but small portions, small frustrations, sometimes I have, to be honest. Um, but um, what I want to say today is that the real strength of mind is to be able to see your own weakness. Um, comparing with someone and trying to create something wrong in yourself by comparing with someone else, um, that's, not the that's not the real strength. Um, it looks like it does, and it may work when you're young, but uh, it's not the answer. You cannot really have strengths by comparing with somebody else. So let's say, I was actually mentioning about this on the previous videos and lives, is that the um, you, you never compare with someone in terms of performance, in terms of how much you gain, you know, in the YouTube or in the uh, you know, other websites or in SNS, People post their their uh, profits, and uh, you know when you see these profits, uh, you might think, "Wow, that's a good profit," or you might feel that you are frustrated because you don't produce that much profit in the long run. But uh, you know, comparing with someone in terms of performance uh, is not the answer. Uh, but on the other side, you are always feeling nervous under pressure of not losing in someone and have frustration towards anything that tries to take away what you have. That is actually the essence of our mindset. So my advice um, is to have that frustration of changing indicators, not being able to win, not towards indicators, not towards charts, but towards yourself. Because as long as you keep changing indicators and blame indicators or blame markets or blame other services, blame the signal services or alerts, robots, you will never have peace in mind forever. Um, so we do have frustration. Me also have frustration and everyone has frustration in any levels. Frustration towards society, your boss, your wife, your husband, uh, your kids, your environment, your uh, financial situation, and it goes on. But as long as you have frustration towards outside of you, nothing will change. And as long as you look for an answer in outside of you, 
then you will never get the answer. I think that uh, Mr. Nick already started notice the answer by watching videos and lives on my YouTube channel. And I can feel that you are almost getting the answer. And also you are at the door to start looking into yourself by not having frustrations on indicators and markets. Um, the more you lose, the more you look for winning strategies, winning indicators, and winning markets. And you start to blame yourself, and you know that already. Um, training ends, after all, right? after all, trading itself ends with mere excitement if you don't learn from it. Unless you don't learn from your own experience in trading, it never means that you are actually trading. Rather, it means you just stepped into an excitement of it. It's like drinking alcohol, maybe, or drinking some sparkling water. You know, when you drink sparkling water, alcohol, or uh, I never smoke tobacco, but uh, if you smoke cigarette, then uh, you know the excitement comes in, in yourself, and you get high and you're eventually you might be addicted to it so everyone are frustrated and to reduce the level of frustration you know everybody are looking for something that can release the frustration by looking for something exciting and if you are into the trading world with that mindset then the trading itself will be a mere excitement unless you don't learn from it. And also remember that if you repeat the same kind of frustration towards outside over and over again, then that's your own responsibility. So, um, because, you know, we are trading by our own terms and we are trading by our own responsibility. So, trading account is your own balance, your own money, and that's why I only trade by my own money and I never trade for someone and I've never been into the firms, trading firms. Because I feel that I have responsibility on what I exactly do 100% and also I don't really do it for somebody else. In that way, I, have, I can keep my performance level up high so that I can take every trade very seriously without any excitement. Even if I win big, I don't feel exciting right now and if i don't lose big i don't feel sorrow i don't feel frustration because basically i follow my own strategy and rules and discipline and i learned that based on my own experience based on my own trace and based on my own mistakes and that's why i take a trading journal every time i take trace i write memos on the spreadsheet and uh, I, after the, at the end of the month, I analyze all my trades and exactly look into why I lost these trades and why I also win these trades. And this is the very effective way to be able to learn from your own trades and to improve your trades because these are your trades and you cannot lie on your trades because they were actually happening on the previous month. If you are following somebody else's trades or if you are using you know, whatever indicator, Ichimoku, or uh, you know, whatever indicator strategies, unless you look back at your own trades, you can't really learn yourself. So that's also very important. And that really reduces the level of frustration. Um, because before I was also using paid indicators, paid services, paid strategies, robots and also I took trades by my own but uh, you know I felt that none of them worked and none of them worked because I wasn't keep using it if I use it right now then it might work but uh, in that mindset back then I thought let's say I pay for uh, $50 for one indicator and let's say $300 for another indicator, I thought $300 indicator is much better than 50 indicators. But uh, the reality wasn't true, actually. Even if I use 300, 301 or 51, 
uh, you know, the result was pretty much the same because it was my, due to my level of confidence being very low and my frustration level was very high whenever I lose. That's why I didn't win and I wasn't able to keep using it and I didn't learn anything from these trades. Or at least I learned that, you know, these things don't work. But, uh, you know, um, that was me before when I was trading as a newbie and uh, when I was losing trades. I was basically uh, in the darkness of these, uh, you know, markets. But after I studied really the price action and then added Ichimoku, it worked for myself. And that is because, yes, price action is the base of the market and also Ichimoku is powerful. But uh, the, the, the real reason of why I started to win is not just because of price action, not because of the Ichimoku, but because of myself. I was learning and learning from my own experience. And that's the only way to be able to keep trading and surviving in this market. So um, yeah, coming back to uh, the email from Nick. Uh, so once again, he says, I haven't been able to keep trading with one strategy. I keep changing strategies when I lose. Now I haven't traded for a half year. Then I saw your YouTube videos, then started to learn Ichimoku and trading again. But after I started to trade demo again, I started to remember the days when I was losing and I started to have frustration. How can I deal with it? So my direct answer is simply to, to, uh, to uh, I mean, take journal and learn Ichimoku, basics of Ichimoku, and learn price action and learn from your own trace. And also, you know, look into yourself also. I think you need to talk to yourself more because um, I think that's the only way to, to keep trading and keep, uh, you know, yourself as a trading, you know, uh, in the world. Because that's basically based on my own experience. So I hope for those who watch this video also learn something new from this uh, video and I hope you uh, you take trace in your own terms with your full responsibility and learn from your own trace. So that was a topic for today. So, uh, so once again, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and I will see you in the next one. So this week we have the big news including uh, NFT, so uh, just be careful. Every time you take trades, make sure that there is no big news. And if you don't take trades, then you know always come back to it after the news. So uh, until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and there you go. Right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.